this is Cynthia and this is my friend Hi. and we just got back from our trip to New Orleans, um, Austin and Portland My eye, I guess I accidentally poked my eyeball while I doing my makeup so that's why my, one of my eyes is so wired right now As you can see, we are tweening today again because we just you know, got some stuff while we are in Portland That being said, we just thought it would be great or fun to just, just talk about what we got over this trip so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first stop we went to is Sephora. Sephora is my favorite store ever. So I think we both got the Kavon D tattoo liner. I got the brown one and I got the black. black one. This is just a really awesome eyeliner. It does not smudge. It stays on all day. Mm. It's really easy to use. And I've gone through like three or four hand of the tattoo liner. So yeah, I might as well just stock on a little bit more while we're in Portland. The next thing that I got is this Monaco oil towel set where there are shampoo, conditioner, or hair mask, and a hair oil. I was gonna find the whey hair oil that I used to use, but then they didn't have it in the full size. So uh, I was just asking for recommendations from the Sephora staff, and they recommend this one. And so far, I've used it for a, once or twice and they've been working really really well mm -hmm. You can tell the difference and my hair gets a little bit better, right? It was really really dry I also got a concealer um, The darker shade called Blondie because I got tan And my dark silver just got darker too <laughs> It's just from the Sephora collection, nothing major mm -hmm. And next we, uh, I used my points so we kind of did a little bit of the 100 points Little gifts and this is the Tarte High Performance Natural Pro Glow. This is basically a liquid highlighter. Um, I've never used a liquid highlighter before, so I don't know how it works. And An is definitely um, really into highlight right now. So we're excited to just give it a try. Let's move on to the next one, which is Forever 21. So the first thing that we got is this little dress. You can just stand up. Ooh, we just basically tweeny today. It has a really ooh, high cut. Like, I mean, low cut. A yeah, very low cut in the back. In back. And just very flowy and summery. <laughs> Plus, I'm traveling. I just want to have my luggage as light as possible. And this is just perfect for that. Did you get anything? Yes, I did. I got two more things. An off-shoulder yellowish shirt. Very uh, flowy too. The thing about this is that the shoulder actually stick on my shoulders when I move. Because mm -hmm. that that's one problem I had with a lot of other off-shoulder shirts. Is that they just roll up whenever I shrug my shoulders and stuff, things like that. Last item I got from them is top top. It's, an, it's a large, but it actually fits me. And it was on sale too. So very kind of sporty, um, fun looking kind of shirt for summer. And I think I got a couple of different one. And this one is also another dress. This is more fitting and will show a little bit of your curves. Like a skater dress. Yeah, it's like a skater dress, but it's very comfortable to put on and it's very cheap too. It's like $13. And so it just looks like this. It's very simple black and white stripe. I like stripes, so yeah, I just have this to my um, dress collection for the summer. The other item I got was this denim skirt. I actually have never owned any denim skirt, so when I saw this, I was just like, oh, might as well give it a try. And it's actually pretty comfortable too. And I just figured it would be great to just layer, not layer, but like just have it to go with some like light top or off shoulder mm -hmm. or anything like that would be really great to have this piece with me the last piece that i got from forever 21 is this off shoulder and it's quite flowy as well but i figure you can also tuck the bottom into your skirt or your jeans and it just the line the curve would just look a little bit better i have a really big bone structure so i normally wouldn't go for the off shoulder most important is I feel good about wearing my clothes or I feel comfortable and confident, right? So yeah, I got this and I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. So next, we also went to Francesca. Francesca is one of my favorite places to shop because they have really cute dresses. They're not the cheapest, but I feel like their quality and if they have discount, it kind of justifies the, the, the price a little bit. We both just got a pair of sandals. Um, I just randomly see it on the floor and they're on sale. This is this was like $20 originally and then it cuts down to $10. And they have a 
a discount again for buy one get uh, buy one get one half off. So basically, each pair is like seven bucks and fifty cents. So we just both got the same sandal twinny again. High five. <laughs> I also got another piece, which is a romper. Like Ann says that when I when I walk out of the dressing room, she's like, "Oh, this is really cute," and I think it's really cute too. So it looks like this. It has a kind of interesting pattern on the top, a little bit flowy on the bottom, and it's very comfortable to wear. And I thought it would be great to uh, wear this in summer in Europe. Next is H and M. I got something is because my sister had some store credits that I have to use the you stop so i got a pair of shorts this is just a little bit high-waisted green shorts that i think would go with any pretty much any top oh nothing much um i've been really liking their uh, front clothes bralette and i just want to get another one or two i found one white i got two more before and they were different colors they were really cute and I, and I really like how fitting and easy to put on how cute they are next is nordstrom rack i got a pair of sandal heels which is this is exactly the style that i really really want but just because my the shape of my feet just doesn't fit the front piece of this yeah i just look like this there's a little bit of heel you either can dress up dress down i think this is just like a perfect shoes to have i wish i can wear this but i can't <laughs> <laughs> for me i got a bag from Nordstrom Rack because my previous bag that I got for like 15 bucks from Freedom for Sale was kind of like broken. I got this case fade bag. It's still a little bit on the pricey side, but I think the quality of it can justify a little bit. This is just a bag that I am able to fit pretty much everything that I need. I can fit in a charger, wallet, cameras, my earphone, my icebreaker <laughs> that I always have it. I like that this part they have this zipper and you can pretty much put like more important stuff like your passport or some important documents in so it's really hard to be stolen i guess plus this is like magnetic so you, you don't have to worry about the zippers the last purchase is a big boy's purchase which is an iphone 7 matte black i want i the only reason i wanted a 7 because i thought i was gonna get the that or portrait mode um, camera like the iPhone 7 Plus like she has <laughs> but I didn't do my research so turns out they don't have that on this iPhone 7 function. Apple used to have a better function yeah on the iPhone else 7. is so good um, um, I mean I kind of I mean it's meant, I guess it's meant to be <laughs> well, I didn't get anything from Apple but I still got my final items which are my collection on starbucks mug if you have watched one of my previous videos where i did like the the mug the breakfast in the mug i have a lot of starbucks mug and, and during this trip i added three into my collection so the first one orleans second one is austin the third one is portland i've been collecting these since a couple years ago so i don't really buy any souvenirs but i would rather just go to starbucks and buy the local mugs that i have and i guess it's just it's also useful too very last two random items that i got actually from the powell bookstore <laughs> in, in portland is a europe and asia um, plug adapter because i figure i'm going to europe and i would need adapter to charge all my stuff and also a travel size TSA approved lock because I will be staying in Airbnb and hostel so this would be a great thing to have just to secure all of your belongings so these are everything that we got from our trip it's really fun to traveling with on thank you for hosting me here in Chicago hope you guys will like today's random video like a random haul if you like this video make sure to give a, a thumbs up or you can subscribe to the channel it's like a red whatever <laughs> subscribe bottom <laughs> and hope everyone has a wonderful day we're going to get brunch now bye see you next time <laughs>